You mentioned New Bern. New Bern has dealt with a particularly bad situation today. That is 95 miles northeast of here, and Chris Van Cleve is there. Chris, what's happening? Jeff, New Bern is finally getting a break from the rain, but still getting strong winds, and there is water everywhere. Block after block has been swamped by Florence, and that has prompted a lot of people here to call for help. Hurricane force winds brought a 10 foot storm surge rushing into the riverfront city of New Bern. Homes looked like islands as roads were inundated. Tia Cherry and her family thought they could ride out Florence at home. Then came the water. Her mother flagged down a storm chaser with a boat who came to her rescue. It started pouring down raining again, so I'm like, uh uh, we got to get out of here because we're not going to make it. The surge left docks in tatters and damage spread across town. I'm looking on the street and I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I've never seen this kind of damage here. All night and through the storm battered day, rescue crews worked to pull more than 360 people who didn't evacuate from their homes. Some who couldn't wait waited out on their own. The city says at least 140 more are still waiting for rescue. Bob Better is leading a swift boat rescue team from Massachusetts, one of two out-of-state FEMA teams here helping people trapped by water. How dangerous are these conditions? How hard is this to work in? It's very difficult. It's dangerous work, and this is what we train for. At points during the worst of the storm, the city had to call off the search and rescue efforts because it was just too treacherous for those first responders to be out there. But they have promised they are coming for everyone. Jeff? Chris, thank you very much.